Is video that one thing you're supposed to be doing, but you're not, and your advertising costs are going up? This is the content for you, if that's the case. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy, and in this video, we're gonna break down how to set up some sponsored brand video ads on Amazon, and what kind of content you should be using, how to shoot it, what kind of edits, how to set up the campaign, and what keywords to use. So let's dive in. So I've been purchasing some UGC content like this, and I'm really excited about it. And I'm like, how do I turn this into an ad? So that's kind of the point of this content. Come so make an ice pumpkin take a look at this and this. with me in my new Starbucks fall cup, but my style. I got this cup on Amazon by looking up Halloween Starbucks coffee mug. It's the only tumbler that I've ever found that has a leak proof lid. This 12 ounces is equivalent to a tall and Starbucks size. I did three pumps of pumpkin and I did an So first of all, I'm just really excited by the fact that I, I actually got somebody who used my Starbucks coffee cup at a Starbucks and they were a barista. Like I, I could not believe the, the luck I had in getting some of this UGC built. So she does all of the correct things. We have a banana for scale shot. We have a story. We have the fact that she talks about how to get the product. She shows the product in use. She does a close up. She makes people feel like they could use the product themselves. And oh my gosh, there's some cinnamon on the top there. So I've got some really great content here. She even tests it. Mm, perfect. Love it. I couldn't be happier with this piece of UGC content. I've been big time investing in this right now. All right. So in the last 30 days, I've spent just over $6,000 with $9,700 in sales. I want to point out that's a 63% ACoS. It's on the high side. There are reasons why you might want to do a higher ACoS campaign, such as sponsored video. It is more higher up in the funnel. It's, it's more of an awareness campaign. So I want to you know, preface this with the fact that if you are getting diminishing returns on sponsored products, when you start testing sponsored video, you're not exactly gonna get the same ACoS. It's probably gonna be higher. Now there is some exceptions to this. You get a really awesome video campaign uh, and maybe you just hit the runner and that's why you wanna test this, by the way. So there's my results, not necessarily stellar, but you can tell I'm invested in it. So we can dive in and see how we're gonna do this. I also wanna point out that that chart I just showed you also included static campaigns as well. I'll go into some video campaigns to show you those results as well during this video. So you can see I did an ASIN targeting video with a banner ad showcasing the product like this. Going back to the campaign proper here, uh, I've put in some additional filters. So I filter for sponsored brands and video first quartile greater than one, which means they played through at least a quarter of the video. So I have a spend of $2,000 and a sale of 4,300 at a 46% ACoS, which beats my current average on my sponsored products. So this is showcasing how video is doing better than just the regular sponsored brand headline ads. So that's why this is such a good thing to look at and test and see if it's gonna work for you. So here's some of the campaigns I've got running. You'll notice on the far right, I'm gonna scroll um, away from this, move my camera so you can see the campaign results. Results are all over the place. I'll have some in the 35s, one at 25%, and then I'll have some duds at like the 350%. We pause that one, it looks like. And you can see all of those results right there. Side note, gotta love it when Amazon doesn't show you your creative preview. I'm sitting here trying to showcase some video ads and what they're gonna look like. I can't get the preview to show up. So this is where it would be though. And then you could even hit the play and stop and you can even click it and it'll load the product like that. So it's like funk, I know it's running. I know it's functional, but I can't get it to play. So I just typed in Halloween Starbucks Tumblr. I do get my ad to show up in position one. My product is showing up in organic position number four right there. So that's good. Now I'm gonna see if I can program or, or at least trigger rather, um, the video ad to display, and it looks like no go so far. So stand by. By the way, after you get that UGC content, you're trying to download something off TikTok, you can go to over a website for free called tiktokdownload.online. You can put the URL right in here, and that will remove the watermark so that it's safe to post it on Amazon because Amazon's going to reject that watermark uh, situation. I do recommend that when you build the campaign video ad, that you start with a super close-up shot. So if this is one of my tumblers right here, you wanna start with it in use as close as possible, filling up the camera like thus, 
and not starting with a wide. This is a medium shot right here. And a wide shot would be like you could see the full body of somebody. So you want to start with that close up shot that really gets um, the most attention, especially if you can show the product in use. OK, I figured out my problem. Maybe you guys have one of these, too. So I had an ad blocker on that was preventing this from displaying. So I just disabled it, it was my uh, U block right there and I turned it off. Now I can see the video play. Uh, Scratch my head on this one for quite a while, not gonna lie. So hopefully that doesn't happen to you too or if it does, at least you found this video to trigger it and fix it. So here's a video we made um, last year where we showed the Halloween collection. Um, so this is the second year we've been running this video. It still works year two, which has been great. You'll also notice that we creatively put a little banner on the left there while the video plays because of the mobile at atmosphere. It made it difficult to um, shoot, take a mobile video, and then make that that horizontal slot. So when you go to load um, a video ad on Amazon, the constraints on the video are actually a little tricky. Sometimes you might have to use an actual video editor pro to do it, hire somebody off Upwork, whatever it might be. One of the things that Amazon just came out with was their sponsored brand video ads in streaming TV. You also heard that Amazon is going to start charging an extra $2.99 a month for um, ads it, to, to not play ads while watching your Amazon Prime videos. Uh, and if you don't pay that, you're going to be seeing the ads, but you can pay an extra $2.99 to not see the ads. So this is the hardest part. So what I would recommend doing is taking these video specs and giving this to an actual video editor, because if you haven't done video editing before and you try and look at the spec sheet, it's gonna be a little overwhelming. So what you can do is you can add the video after you've made all of the campaign settings. I would actually recommend trying to load the video before you try and build the campaign. You're gonna spend a lot of time like trying to get the targeting right and all the sections and all that stuff and some keyword selection. And instead, just focus on getting the video correct because it's not, it's not easy. So for example, if I upload uh, this video like this, this is basically an unedited, raw, um, no TikTok watermark, but that's basically it. And I know I'm gonna trigger some errors and I'm doing this on purpose to show you. And essentially what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to edit this video and change it, maybe even add kind of like we did with the old video. Let's see, we have that up over here with the left banner while the video plays on the right. We'll probably have to do that. So we triggered three errors, aspect ratio, dimensions, and frame rate. The frame rate one might throw you off the most out of all of the errors. Um, <clears throat> that's actually the easiest to fix, but it's not something that most people are like, wait, what? Frame rate? Right? So that can throw you off. Uh, the dimensions are pretty obvious because it's coming from that vertical TikTok format. So it's not going to hit the dimensions or the aspect ratio, which is why we're going to probably have to put kind of a banner like this to fix that. Uh, but you can see the rest of them came through just fine. Um, now with text, sometimes it's a little tricky to get text to be uh, approved. More often than not, it's safer to not use text. You can see it must be legible on mobile. And even if it clears the automation approval, it may not clear the manual review when they go in and do that. So I would just avoid text um, over the video. I don't think it's a good idea. Um, I do recommend having a little bit of background music or voiceover because uh, if somebody does click the audio button, you're going to want them to be able to hear something. This is inside of the Amazon video help file. Uh, these are pretty common sense, but I do think it's worth mentioning. Make a great first impression. So like the product needs to be shown in the first second of the video. There's no question about it. It's got to be an attention getting. Keep the video brief. Totally agree. It could be as short as 15 seconds. Probably wouldn't go longer than 45 um, I think actually there is a cap. I don't remember what the cap is. Oh yeah, it is actually 45 seconds right there. And then uh, they say invest in the video. I I've gotten away with some pretty crappy like still shots that we just rotate through and they've done pretty decent with ACOS. So I wouldn't say this bar is as high as the other bars in terms of how much you invest, but I do think pulling out the cell phone and shooting some mobile video is the best way to do it. Uh, and, and a good way to get on base. So once you get the video to clear and you've run some previews, after that, that's when I would start to actually build out the campaign. Um, I would recommend like a $50 a day budget minimum and start building the structure. So with campaign names, just to make things easy, I always recommend having like a structure in place where you got the video, maybe paste the ASIN right here, 
uh, and then whatever keyword targets that are maybe unique to this campaign. So for example, if I was doing Halloween Starbucks kind of angle, I would do that and then fill in the budget. Um, now you can set up your brand store that you're pushing to right there. Uh, ad group names are pretty defunct these days. They're pretty much gonna be the same as your campaign name. Most um, PVC experts at this point don't recommend running multiple ad groups on a campaign uh, because one of the ad groups will steal all the budget. So down here, you're gonna select video on the section. I do recommend running them straight to the product detail page. Some people may um, test running them to a sub page on the store. I just don't have, the, the, the experience has been for me is it hurts the conversion. It's one extra step for the consumer to go through. Now, if you have a higher priced item, maybe the store page might be better, but on a $15 Tumblr, I think going straight to the product's the best way to do it. You'll then select the product in question. One thing you'll note here is it's not SKU dependent. This is kind of unusual from sponsored products. So for example, if I type the ASIN in here, I have two SKUs on it, an FBA and an FBM, and you'll notice that it only shows the ASIN. There's no SKU information. So if you uh, keep that in mind, this can run while you're out of stock. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that, but that's the reason why it's not SKU dependent because it's just gonna keep pumping that, that ASIN. Um, this is true of all sponsored brand video content. Like some of the other formats, you do have keyword targeting or product targeting. So the biggest difference here is you can do um, a category like this, um, individual products and come in and select them. So if I wanted to advertise on this one or this one, uh, I definitely don't recommend mixing and matching a category type plus an individual product, separate out those campaigns, use some extra uh, segmentation. You can search for what category might make the most sense. It's usually pretty easy to find and it's usually within the suggested um, section. So like home and kitchen, something like that would be pretty normal. Um, I typically find the best success with video ads in keyword targeting and going very narrow. So with sponsored products, I might test, you know, 100 different words through various different campaigns. But on sponsored video, I'm going to go straight to the, like the top three keywords that I know are just going to nail it for me. So something like Halloween coffee cups or Starbucks tumbler, something like that, where I know, hey, this is going to do really well. Hey, that's actually a pretty funny anomaly there, like the $24 phrase bid. Um, so here, here's a case example where broad match sometimes is better to hit uh, versus phrase match. I've seen a lot of people just go straight to exact match and they have a higher A cost because they don't take advantage of using negations on broad match. Um, what I just mentioned is probably going to be lost on some of you. So what I mean by that is the, 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 the broad match hits more targets, but because it has a lower bid, um, you're going to get a lower A cost and overall higher impressions and more sales. The problem with broad match is it, because it hits so many things, it's going to hit some irrelevant stuff simultaneously. And so what you got to do is you come back in and you hit those negations up and I got a bunch of negation video content you can check out. Um, we'll have a link to the end of the video and, and I, I got to tell you, never negate a good keyword off auto and broad match, negate bad keywords every week off broad match. And it's going to be some of the best time you spend trying to lower a costs, um, is using broad match and auto campaigns to do this. So, so we'll select all the keywords Let's say, you know, I selected that one and then the negatives down here, let's say I knew for a fact the word cup would never work for me. I could add it there. Um, just like that. Um, but because this video, um, didn't, didn't work, I can't submit this for review. Um, so I'll be stuck trying to get the video to clear and then I would have to come back and, but I can save it as a draft like this, which is nice. Uh, so if you have somebody like, t here's, here's the thing that I've, I've experienced is I'll have a PPC guy who doesn't know how to edit video and I'll have a video guy who's never touched PPC. So it can be problematic, right? They're going back and forth. It takes days to get the freaking video to load. So what I found was, is if I just teach the video guy just enough to load the video and have him save the draft, then bring the PPC guy back in and then have him build out the campaign, that's been the bit best winning combination for me. If you try and have the video loaded by a non-video person, there's like a very strong possibility that one of the video errors will trigger and then you'll have to send it back and then you'll go back and forth and it's just a little troublesome. Now, if you're using a guy off Upwork, I wouldn't let them into my PPC account per se. Um, and I would try and, you know, go back and forth. No problem. Send them the specs ahead of time when you place those requests and you'll be a lot better off. 
All right, so that was a kind of a high level tutorial on sponsored video ads. Um, I do highly recommend testing these. The quality and the content is not as important as the fact that you just show up because your competitors might have really crappy video ads and your A cost could be lower depending on the keyword than a regular sponsored product ad. It also takes up more space and maybe you have a product that's like, you know, a Billy Mays just as seen on TV uh, product where it doesn't do well without video, but with video it does superbly, right? Like sham wow, wow, and this and that, right? There can be other things that video could perform. So if you got one of those products, you gotta make that investment. Uh, it's a lot more work to get this up and running than it is a sponsored product, but it's definitely rewarding if you get it right. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy, and we can run your PPC too by going to myamazonguy.com.